Well, I was hoping for the best, but came to clear the driveway out today. I don't know why they came this far into the space beside the dumpster. I mean, this bike is like six feet off the beaten path away from the parking lot. So far, it looks like just the front wheel's all bent to shit. <laughs> they destroyed the freaking bike rack. <laughs> I think the wheel only got bent because the handlebar was turned sideways. And looks like my luggage rack is kaput too. We'll dig her out. Bring her upstairs. Defrosted. Assess the damage. It needs an overhaul, anyways. Well, the cables are all probably seized, anyways. Not the point. Tire and tube seem to be unscathed. Tube is still holding air, so. I'm gonna drag her out here and see what we got. Well, there's some of the carnage. Smash the rim all the heck. Nice. Sitting on the bike rack with the wheel turned like that. I don't think they actually tagged it with the machine. It was more the snow that they were pushing around. The rim's just made of aluminum, so I mean it's pretty fragile and it's you know spoke wheels. Yeah, it conformed it rather nicely to the fork. But despite all that. Kink there, tear there. Oh, yeah, it's just in rough shape. But despite that, the tire and tube are unscathed. When I got out and started digging it out, the tube, the tire was still partially on the rim, and the tube was all over the place, but it was still puffed out full of air, so. It survived that. Which is good because those tires are brand new last summer. One of these caps ended up getting lost. Took the other one off. Brand new seat last summer. It's a slight little Slight injury there. This was pushed that way a little bit too. Just from the snow. Drag it forward here. The rack didn't fare too well. It's all bent, twisted. I never really used it anyway, so I'll just take it off. Now the back wheel, though it is intact and the tire is still holding air, it does this <laughs> while it's running. So, yeah. Back end of the frame here, got, it was slightly pushed in. I can just pull it back out. It's not too bad. The, uh, Geez, the light sucks in here. You can't see it. Kickstand got tagged. It was bent in. I bent it back out, but it's shot. It needs to be replaced. 
it's working pretty good now just to hold the bike up but I mean that's it for the most part it's in good shape I'm gonna fiddle with the back wheel tighten up the loose spokes see if that does anything but looks like I'm in the market for a couple of new wheels that's all I need I wanted to redo these cables as well because they're all mismatched and these silver ones here focus focus these silver ones are original to the bike and they're showing their age cracks cracking and peeling so water gets in there and then they rust out and you know there we go replace all those they're mismatched new pedals last year bike doesn't really owe me anything never paid a penny for it it was abandoned behind my store 20 years ago any parts I've put on it have been cobbled together this handlebar came from a different bike and the pedals here the crank arms came from a different bike the only thing I've put on this thing is new tires and tubes and a seat other than that, it's just been cobbled together from abandoned bicycles. Uh, even some parts came from a former resident at the motel, so. Could have been worse, I suppose. Could have twisted the frame all the heck. Old Raleigh. It's got the tall head tube here. Makes it a bigger frame. I like the patina. It's aging well. I was going to make a rat rod bike out of it, but I'll just leave the patina. I don't know if this particular Raleigh is right from England or if it's a made in China special but I like the patina I'll leave the rust as long as it's mechanically sound get rid of the broken parts good like new we'll see stay tuned there's the back wheel. Easier to show you than to describe what it's doing. It's got a wee bit of a wow in it. <laughs> Just a wee bit of a wow. So, yeah. It does have a couple of loose spokes on it, so. You find them now, but I'll just tighten up the loose spokes and we'll see what happens. Uh, no kinks or twists or bends, so I think it fared pretty well. There's the <laughs> split. It's made of aluminum, so it's fairly fragile. Look at that. It's almost a perfect straight line. That crack. Interesting. But yeah, all these pokey things here, not one of them went through the tube, so you can see it's nicely conformed to the frame here. 